Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next installment of the Euro Demo series. Today we are doing Euro Demo 82. Strap yourselves in for this one. This one is going to be long. And I mean long. So, and you're going to see why, because the games on here are long, quite literally. So, Sky Sports Soccer Quiz, Metal Gear Solid, Pong, Broken Sword 2, 40 Winks, Eurose Games, Goal of the Month 9, Run of the Month 2, Tony Hawk's Tips Part 2, Downloader, C12 Final Resistance, Time Crisis Project Titan, and we're back at the start. Now, I'm in the right mind to start from here. Reason why, because in that way, we get through all the games, we then get onto the videos afterwards and the downloader at the end. So we'll start with C12 Final Resistance today and not where the disc puts us. Also, the interface looks really, really nice. So, oh yeah. So yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So let's get started. C12 Final Resistance. Here we go. We're going to be here for quite some time. No speech. We've played this before in Eurodemo 70. Um. Oh, there you go. here. Right. Looks like the railway power system's been taken up. Find the backup generator and see if you can reroute some power from there. Okay. Oops. Uh. 
That was easy. Alright. Nice job, boy. Riley, about your implant. It's also there to give you information on your immediate surroundings. Get something onto your focus point and the database link-up will provide you with useful feedback. Whoa. Glitch. What the? There we go. Riley, over there. That's one of the alien machines. It should provide you with some Okay. Our research data proves they can only sustain a limited number of years. It was due to the standard energy, but now you can machine the cell that will last you longer. Okay. Those things, they attacked the hospital. We tried to hold out, but it was useless. They must have thought I was dead. They butchered all the injured men. I had to watch as they... Easy, soldier. Hold on. I'll find some morphine, then fix you up. Be careful, sir. Those things, those cyborgs, they're still out there. Get back to our friend. There you go. Ugh. All right, there you go. And resume the keycard. Oh.
Perfect. Nothing that way, okay. Oh, it's there. Uh -huh. Dr. Carter here is going to give you some more info on this shield unit of yours. Yes, Riley. We've discovered that the unit can generate an electromagnetic pulse. Corporal Jackson will show you how to do this. You power up the shield cell until it overloads, and this sets off the EMP. It'll temporarily disable any droid or cyborg caught in the shockwave. Don't overuse it, though. It'll burn out your active shield cell. Once the last team's out of here, we're going to have to prime the bunker's auto-destruct system. We'll need General Hammond's cortical implant for this. It's down in the medical center, and you've got to get it. After, we'll rendezvous in the main control area. Jackson's got the tunnel access codes you'll need to get into the base. Better move it. Okay. We're right with you, sir. To your left. Watch your left. Time to kick ass! Come on! Come on! Want some? Jackson, keep it together, man! You're gonna get us all killed! He's in the building. <laughs> shot myself. Okay, we're going in. Got a rocket launcher. Nice.
<sighs> Here we go. Oh, it's a save point. Yeah. Oh fuck, what's that? Never mind, I guess we won't find out. We beat the demo, everybody! And that's the end. Alright, next up, Time Crisis, Project Titan. Okay, let's see how we get on with this. Loading. Action! Oh Christ! Um. And it froze. Froze. Hell yeah! Go restart. I'm gonna go back in and have another go. If it freezes again, I'll move on. Try again. Loading round two. Freeze! 
reload. Oh my god. Action! Oh, well, game over. That's hard. You need a gun for that, really. Mm. Okay, we'll move swiftly on. <laughs> there we go. You know what it's like. You need a gun, mainly anything, but it is playable on D-pad and analog, but it's just significantly harder. Alright, Sky Sports Soccer Quiz, or aka Sky Sports Football Quiz. This should be fun, because I have fuck all knowledge on football, and I hate the sport with all my heart. Why is it such intense opening? Oh, this is gonna go horribly, I know, so. Welcome to Sky. Alright. First of all, how One player. you're going to play on your own. Please enter your name. Please select the type of game you would like to play. I didn't play. get to do anything, but okay, fair enough. Oh, we can play Dream Team or League Championship. Dream Team. Let's play Dream Team. Ready? Oh, Fade to Black. Did it break? I bet the game broke. Oh. Is it working? No, I think it broke. Hang on. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm going to do a reset. Load it up again. And I'm going to try Dream Team again. If it doesn't work, I'll do League Championship. If that doesn't work, then we'll move on. It's a shame we've already had to reset twice and we're already on the third thing. People are sending me shit on Snap. Lovely. That's handy. I forgot it goes right to the start, doesn't it? Right in front of me. You can't even skip this, I think. No, you can't skip it. No. Gotta watch this again.
I hope you're ready for absolutely shite knowledge on this because I have no idea. I really don't. Welcome. All right. First of all, how many... Okay, you're going to play on your own. Please enter your name. Um, we will be... The value of this game. One pound. Please select the type of game you... Let's dream play team. Dream Team. Okay. Intro you want to play? Kickoff? Yes. It's gone to black again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? Why? Broke again, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. What the? Um. Yeah, it... Uh, uh, what, I was about to reset the game, and it's just done that. What the fuck? Something is wrong with the demo disc. Okay, it's going to have to be League Championship then, isn't it? God knows how long that will fucking take. <laughs> If it does the same thing again, I am not going to restart. I'm going to move on. i got to watch the intro again. Okay. Good luck to me. If it crashes here, we're done. All right. First of all, okay, you're going to play on your own. I am. Please enter your name. We will be one pound. Please select the time. League of game. championship. Let's play a league championship. Yes. Okay, so this one works. Okay, this one works. Nice, I guess. Select your team. Oh god, alright. Um Who should we be? I don't know. Um We'll be Birmingham for Cameron. Okay, let's move. Welcome to the Sky Sports Football Quiz demo. All right. Some great matches this week. Where who are we against? Newcastle. Okay. The referee is eager to get this match started. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. This is going to go horribly wrong. Which country won the African Nations Cup tournament? I don't know. Um, uh, Egypt. Oh. No. As we go into the oh, we're 2 0 down now. Okay. Here comes the second half. Which professional footballer is the godfather for Alan Shearer's children? I don't bloody know. Roy King? Uh, I don't know. At the end. No, oh, that's not good, is it? Where are we now? Oh, we're 18. Oh dear. Okay, here's the fixture list for this week. 
This is it. Oh God! All right. I don't know. Um, you. I got it right. The referee brings the first half to an end. What, nil nil. I got it right. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's get the second half underway. Um. How many matches did England lose? I don't know. Three? None. Oh. At the end of the match, yeah. it's the nil nil. No. Where are we now then? So we got one point. At least. Here is this week's list of fixtures. Here are your opponents. Okay. Which English player scored the quickest recorded goal in the 1982? I don't. No. You. No. I don't. <laughs> Oh dear. Can you identify this footballer? I don't know. Who is he? You look like a Steve. No, you're a Barry. Okay. 6 0. Oh. oh dear. Here are this week's fixtures. Oh no! Not my opponents. Against which country did Michael Owen make his debut for England? Oh no! Um, Argentina, Chile. Five nil. How do they come up with these scores exactly? Can you identify this football referee? Who the fuck is he? I'm gonna guess. Arthur. No. At the Six end of the nil. Match. Oh dear. I think we're probably last now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. The board want to avoid relegation at all costs. The club's poor start to the season needs to improve. Or. Oh. Guess what? I like that gear better. It's time to kick off. Can you name the film that Palais starred in as a power during World War Two? Shooting to victory. Escape to victory. I don't know. Oh God. Let's get back to the action. I don't know anything that is like you know. Who's that bloke? Uh, Barcelona? Oh dear. 5-0. I don't know. Here are this week's fixtures. The atmosphere is building This is up. such a lame game as well. Seriously, this game sucks my ass. Can you identify this trophy? Boy, it ain't gonna be the FIFA World Cup, you eat for English World. Show me. Uh, it was the UEFA Cup. Oh. I think it was. Okay, get ready to play the second half. In which year did Tottenham win European? I don't know. 1966? 1963? I don't know. Anything on this. I don't follow football. I hate football. football. Some tough matches this week. Let's quickly. It's match day. Owen trying to flick it on for Heskey or maybe for himself. Didn't come off for England. It's well won by Jaron. Oh, it's in for a hat trick for England here, Michael Owen. 
that's a historic achievement. Oh my god, I don't know. Uh, 78. <laughs> okay, let's get the second half underway. I am literally just guessing. Oh, it's a dog. Um, you name a dog. Oh my god, oh, what the fuck am I? Um, patch. I'm dread to think how we're doing. Yeah, we're not getting it. We're minus twenty six at the minute. There are some mouth watering fixtures. Mouth watering fixtures. Please. Which of the following footballers has this guy, Ericsson, Joe Cole, Michael Carr? God bless my football knowledge. Right, let's kick off the second half. This is poor. Oh, here we go. Yay! I got one right. Well, that's the and I still lost. How? Some great matches this week. Week nine. How long has this, this gone is for? It. Uh, oh, here we go, another sound question. Skulls. And Skulls gets forward, he's got Heskey on for the pass. England are in again, it's Emil Heskey! It's five! Well, it just gets better and better for England. Oh god, I don't know. Uh, four. Fuck. <laughs> At the the second half coming up. Who the fuck's that? You. Ah. Uh -huh. We're on week nine, doing dreadful as ever. Another minus thirty goal difference. Here is this week's list of fixtures. The atmosphere is building up. Mm. Ah. Fowler, nice the cushion for Steven Gerrard, who's not shy of shooting from long range, and you can see why. That is sensational. 15 minutes gone, a phenomenal Liverpool opening goal, Steven Gerrard. I don't know, 52? 67? What the hell? As we get... Okay, get ready to play the second half. I don't know, um, Arsenal, Coventry, for fuck's sake, oh please end, I've had enough. Oh here we go, the board are satisfied that you can move the team out of the relegation zone, it's tough when you're at the foot of the table, but would you avoid the drop, why not purchase Sky Sports Football Quiz and take your team all the way? Oh, that was the end. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, fuck that game. Seriously. For me, anyway. People might like it if you're a football fan, but for me, that's just a load of old toss. What's a load of old shit? Oh, well. Never mind. Metal Gear Solid. A much better game. Millions better.
We've got a long way to go. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Metal Gear Solid.
This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. Mm -hmm. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. going Okay. Okay. Here it comes. See you later. go Metal Gear Solid. What a game you are. Fifty one minutes in right now.
Agent Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Uh oh. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come <laughs> on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Mm-hmm. Okay. I kind of already know how to beat this demo, but... Snake, your radar you isn't know. affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons. Oh, apes. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. 
I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. <laughs> what about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. Yeah. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Surveillance camera? Oh, come on, that's not fair. Get out of the way. Just get through the thing. Screw it. Go through. <laughs> Quick and easy. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. All right, thank you. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. About to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security <laughs> detail on the Chief. <laughs> There's a box of items there.
Okay, here we go. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. That one up. What's wrong? Snake! Snake! Try again. It's the first fuck up I've made, so it's fine. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Isn't that the other way there? Snake, use the elevator to move from floor to floor. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. The elevator should show up in no time. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Please use it.
Okay. There you go. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Okay, thank you. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. There he is. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <sighs> How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But 
I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a PAN card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <gasps> what is it? He died. To be continued. Coming soon. And that's the end of the demo. Really awesome game, that. Finally, moving on. Um.
Okay, here we go. One player game. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh. Match point, shit. What was he doing there? That power-up just caused me to lose, I guess. And that's enough left. Played around, time to move on. Next up, Broken Sword 2. Another long one. Still live. Don't think it loaded. Okay. Another reset. We'll launch it one more time in hopes that it will work. Okay, here we go. Broken Sword 2 again. Seems like it's loading this time. Yeah, there we go.
smoking mirror. This must be the flesh Professor Ubi in his house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching the story. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. Yeah, he's not an archaeologist. Mm-hmm. It's taking its sweet holy time. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. I've played this before. After an encounter with a pair of Central American Indians, I'd been knocked out and my girlfriend abducted. They failed in their attempts to kill me, and after carefully piecing together my clues, I eventually ended up in a desolate dockside in Marseille, where I hoped I would find the girl. There was a glow of light at the window of the hut. It was the watchman's hut. It was the watchman's hut. Point and click adventure game. Here, boy. It was a mean looking guard dog. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. Okay. What time is it, anyhow? The big hand's on the floor. Why aren't you in bed? I can explain everything. Never mind, I ain't... What time do you open the gates? Seven. 
you mind if I hang out here till the docks open? Please yourself, but you'll have a long way. It's Sunday, and tomorrow is the start of the national holiday. Everything is closed for a month. Well, wouldn't you just know it? Does that dog belong to you? Nah, it comes with the job. I just feed him every now and then. More then than now, I'd say. What's the dog's name? Twenty. It's unusual for a dog. It's his registration number. Security dog number 20. Ever heard of Condor Transglobal? Sure. They have a warehouse here. Well, could I take a look? Not until after the holidays. Come back in a month. That animal doesn't seem too hot for a guard dog. No? You haven't seen him in action. It doesn't look like he has the energy to wag his tail. Just like my wife. She's like a slug in a coma until she's annoyed. Then, she's like a tiger with a rat up its ass. Sweet. <laughs> I have to make a delivery to Condor Transglobal. Where's your rig? Uh, about half a mile down the road. And you walked here? Jeez, are you some kind of nut? Ah, it was easy. I just put one foot in front of the other. Are you gonna let me make my delivery? Not without the paperwork. You get the papers, you make your delivery, and I get a fat backhander. I was getting nowhere with the story about being a trucker. I'm looking for a young woman. At the docks? What kind of woman do you have in mind? You don't understand. It's my girlfriend I'm trying to find. Well, I ain't seen her, and you should tell her. The docks ain't no place for a young lady. They're dirty and they're dangerous. Do you know what kind of business Condor's involved in? I'm paid to guard the gate. Their business is none of mine. I'm certain my girlfriend was brought here when she was abducted. What? Your girl was kidnapped? Yeah. Struck down by an Indian with a poison dart. A poison dart, huh? I could tell he didn't believe me. I have these very exotic panties. Take them away, you pervert! <laughs> What's cooking? Beans. You know a man can live on nothing but beans. Not this one. Don't you ever get tired of eating beans? Sure I do. What do you take me for? And what's the alternative? Peas. I can't eat them too often, though. They play hell with my digestion. Have you ever heard of Professor Ubi? Oh my god, there's so much to get through. None of my friends are professors or anything like that. Have you ever considered changing your diet? What's wrong with beans and beer? You need me to tell you? You're pumping out enough methane here to fill a dirigible. This is the dart that the Indian shot at my girlfriend. Sheesh! That's pretty weird, but I don't see why you'd expect to find her here. Take a look at this letter. That's sick! Did you write it? Oh, no. Oh, it's a letter from my girlfriend's admirer. If I was you, I'd smack him in the mouth. Well, that's not my style, but thanks for the advice. I gotta go now, but I'll be back. Can't win. All right. to go down the stairs.
Hey, 20. Hey, 20. The guard dog was staring at me with a hungry look in his eyes. Uh -huh. I couldn't reach the coat. I couldn't reach the door without climbing into the room. My arms weren't long enough to reach the platform. My arms weren't long enough to reach the platform. The platform was held up by a hinged bracket. I couldn't figure out what it was for. Maybe it was part of a structure which no longer existed. Now I stop reaching for it. My arms weren't long enough to reach the platform. reach that far. Something was bubbling in the watchman's saucepan. Something... I couldn't reach that far. I couldn't reach the coat. It was the watchman's overcoat. It was the door which led to the docks on the other side of the fence. I couldn't reach the door without climbing into the room. Hello? Oh, I saw it again. I'm not really too sure what you gotta do. The opening in the f oh, I've glitched the game. Oh, it's glitched. Something's gone wrong. I don't know what's happened. Yeah, I can't do anything now. Okay, well that's the broken sword, so we'll leave it there. Alright, moving on. Now we've got 40 winks, the Yaros games, and the videos to come yet. This video is likely going to exceed two hours. I did think this would be a very long one. Well, at least you got a lot to watch, peeps.
40 wings. This obviously won't be by far the longest demo video because that goes to Euro, uh, sorry, uh, demo 1 version 7 at 2 hours 53 minutes. And we're not even, well actually no, we are two thirds of the way there. Okay. Played this before. Oh, okay. I've only got three Z's left. I'm dead. Yeah. 
Now it's coming from this way. Hang on. Oops. Okay. Alright, let's move on. Ah. Was attacking me. Anything else? No. What are these moons doing then? Mm -hmm. 
get back in there. And get some of this important health. There we go. Back in there. There you go. Hmm. Back here again. Finding out where this last wink is, isn't it? No, been here.
Interesting. Level finished. Yay! Yeah, beat it. Sick one. That demo is old. Bloody hell. Next up, Net Eurose. We have three games on here apparently. And on here we have Robot Ron, Rocks and Chems. And Yarosians, okay. Robot Rom was first, let's start with that. Fancy. Okay, analog is not working. It's okay. Good the game's playable. It's actually nicely controlled as well. Game over. Actually, it's quite fun. But we'll leave it there, as we played it. But, that's quite fun. I like that. Ah, rocks and gems. Hello again.
right? Oh, sake. I'm done with that. <laughs> oh dear. Finally on the disc, Eurosians. Let's see what this is all about. Quiet Bloke Productions. Hmm. <coughs> Space Invaders. Basically, Space Invaders, but with a few twists and really loud noises. <laughs> That's basically what that is. Okay, but Robot Run, though, that was fun. The other two, not so much. But there you go, that's Net Eurozone. Eh? And we are done with the playable content after two hours. Huh. On to goal of the month nine.
Okay, that was goal of the month nine. It's time for a run of the month two. Run of the month two. Something happened to me, driving home in my car at a quarter to three Bullets sliced through the tire, crash into a tree, gunfire at will Welcome to Smallville! Sorry about this maniac, it's like a mental breakdown Send him to the hospital, come with me to town We'll look after your car, fix it up for free Never smiles around, stay this hotel no fee Hmm, okay, spot tip in the back of the neck Nice, I just had to check at the hospital. Sniper dude apologizes. Like nothing is wrong, Dr. Infos disguises. <laughs> Cover up and planning control chip devices, but I'm spotted run away, chased by radio control mice. At the switch of a button, towns full of zombie freaks, intent on my death, total destruction is what they see. Car smashed up at the garage where I left it. Mechanic attacks me, so we'll go off in a fit. Don't screw me, moi. But stop my three silly guys with some machine gun weapons and the glowing eyes. As you try, my spine will slide and we'll kill you. As you try, my spine will slide and we'll kill you. Run of the month two. Whew. Tony Hawk's Tips Part Two. Yeah, we are not done yet. We still have two things left on the disc. Again. I 
was playing driver 2 I was going for a joyride A storm was a blowing lightning outside A thousand volts or two struck the window of my room PlayStation started flowing here, it really flew The lid opened up and the machine spoke to me Never underestimate the power Gregory No I don't, don't worry, now I must be in a hurry I've got an overdue library book you see Started to run but the station dropped me not so fast The console gone insane, shrunk me down in size, sucked me into the game Avoiding the rosas though impossible to hit the pedestrian to beat the game I was calling my opinion though the chances of this happening was one in a million The console was playing with me I knew and it decided on switching to Quake 2 Give it up for OPM Officially reviewing games number out of 10 With thanks to them We can be sure we don't buy trash The only bad thing is I'll become stranger moustache OPM, PM I lost my mind again OPM, PM I lost my mind again Now I have a machine gun Shooting the stock to bits Ducking on the cover, eat this mother uh -oh. Avoiding the enemy hits But I'm out of the mode, don't know which way to go When I can't find the keys for the doors Surrounded by three, no wait, four large tanks So instead, I just press pause Out with the quake and in with the duck And competing in iron fist tournament to reckon I beat Julia Chang, her punches kept missing She couldn't cope with my charm and the kissing Oh, PM, PM I lost my mind again. Oh, PM, PM. I lost my mind again. Next to PlayStation, but in a new CD. One more game to beat, then it will set me free. This one was a demo CD from OPM. I blew the games away, that's thanks to them. Well, the spoiler zone taught me everything I knew. I whizzed through the games and I was free. Phew. Now the storm went away in my back and day. My station made me big again. I have nothing else to say. OPM PM I lost my mind again OPM PM I lost my mind again Here comes the time bit Where we wrap as many words as I can in a minute Stop watch is ready, we're about to get heavy One, two, three, here we go Hell to the PlayStation, sensation, elevation on a high When I win, when I lose, my depression When I finish my session, leaves me in the groove Never underestimate the power of the PS1 Thousand games, some are lame but some are fun Playing all night, better than sleep Bloodshot eyes, they'll go square, it's no light, it's not neat Station can be a danger to your health, as I found out Games can be a danger to your wealth, so get out more Get on the dance floor, okay so a dance mat will do But it's a nice or to see you dancing about Like a brat on the mat, it's no difference to me When I rap, maybe I got the moves, well maybe the grooves But when it comes to games, well I find them soothing Better to fight in Tekken than do ooh, the real thing Better to blow a guy away when you're gaming You can't find the artifacts in the tombs in the real life And you can't assassinate that guy with a knife Unless you're playing Tenchu, well it's news to a few The PlayStation sensation is good for you Now I've finished the rap, taking you on this ride Is this good enough? Good, now send me my prize Oh yeah Yo, everybody put your hands together Okay, that was the tips video for Tony Hawk's skateboarding. On to 
the final thing on the disc, downloader. Okay, we've got quite a few things on here. So we've got Anna Konnikova's Smash Court Tennis. Colin McRae Rally. Jedi Power Battles, I think. Yeah. Matt Hoffman. Metal Gear Solid. Rain Man. Sleep Dog and Wolf. Silent Hill. Street Fighter and Star Wars. They're all probably just saying the same thing. Yeah, Star Wars Demolition for that one. Yeah, they don't say much, do they? Stunt Vikings, that one's for Stunt Viking. Is it the original Rayman? Yeah. Okay. What's in Jedi Power Battles? Yeah, nothing. Okay. And we are done. That was Euro Demo 82. Way there. That took a long time, but we've made it to the end. If you watched any significant portion of that, you're absolutely nuts. Look at that. Wow. That, that was exhausting, but a very good demo disc nonetheless. There are a few crappy things on it, but, you know. Every disc has their crap, so yeah, there you go. That's me done. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in Eurodemo 83. Good night.